Peace guys and welcome to the video. Today we are watching Delena talking to the moon. That's a fan edited by Just Tati. It got 1.9 million views. So uh, yeah, lean back, kick up your feet. We're gonna go into the episode. Um, I've seen the Vampire Diaries um, a while ago several times. Uh, it's been like at least six years, but I'm pretty sure I got most of it still in my head. Um, I'm also, there are also like a few scenes, especially from the Lena, that I know like by heart. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can talk a lot about it. Um, feel free to like write your opinions and your thoughts to the fan edit or to Vampire Diaries in the comments so that we can talk about the show. And um, yeah, also if you like the video, please leave a like. And um, yeah, let's go straight into the episode. Let's go. <laughs> Catherine. I know you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away. Um, no, I. I still don't know how. Like, I, really know. I, 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 I'm still wondering what the whole thing with the with the Raven was. Like, we've seen it in like not even the entire first season. We've seen it like in the first two or three episodes that like Damon has like fog and a Raven with him. But it's the only time we get to see him. Later on, we never get to see that again. It's also never mentioned again that, like, he had Fog and a Raven going with him. And I'm like, okay, but why? What is his connection to the Raven, you know? <laughs> why is the Raven listening to him? Like, ah, there we go. Like, what is the connection there, you know? I really want to know. Like, I really, really want to know. I'm Damon. I don't know what I want. Well, it's not true. Yeah, she actually met him first. That was like a great reveal when they like revealed that she actually met Damon before she met Stefan. <laughs> what? A mysterious stranger who has all the answers. Did you trust me? Yes. I thought you broke my heart, so I ripped open Aaron's neck. That, that is, is how much control you have over me. And I'm still here. That is how much control you have over me. This is toxic. We are in a toxic relationship, Elena. I kill your friend and you find someone else to blame. You want me to, you want me to blame you, Damon? Fine. Easy. Done. You screwed up, Damon. Again. Thank you. You put me in a position where I have to defend you. Again. Where I have to bend my morals. Again. Where I have to go against every single thing that I believe in. Again. Because I love you. <laughs> Then stop loving me! I can't! <laughs> yeah, that's one of the scenes that like re lives rent free in my head. Um, and yeah, it, it, like you can see, I still know it by heart, like word for word, even with the emotions. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Around you. How could I it not matter? It matters if you know it. Damn. Also pretty sure like everyone else who would have hit Damon would have lost his hand, so like Okay, like I'm pretty sure Damon was already in love with Elena back then. Or like at least he had like strong feelings for her, so that was really her luck because she didn't wasn't in love with him yet. And um, everyone else would have lost his hand. So she was really in luck there because like Damon is not someone you who can, can sl just slap without like Counter action from him, you know. You are my life. Aww. They're so cute. Oh, that moment where she fell into his arm, that was literally. I was so mad because instead of like Catherine's in my head and trying to take over my body, like just shouting that, she like gets into his arm and hugs him, and then she she like stays quiet for a while, and in that time Catherine takes over. Like you should have just like screamed at him, Catherine's in my head, she's trying to take my body, and then like you should have just screamed that. <laughs> you would have like realized it way earlier. You also could have like um, stopped a few things, like you know. Damon ripping open Aaron's neck. Just saying. <laughs> but now instead you just go in for a hug and say nothing for a second, like wasted time. I was so I was so mad at that. Oh, 
choices and of all the choices that, that I made. If this will prove to be the worst, but I am not sorry that I'm in love with you. They had so many epic moments, oh my god. Like, they, they were also kind of toxic, pretty toxic. Uh, <laughs> but they had so many, like, awesome and, like, memorable moments, the, and epic moments. It's... Yes, I'm a Lena fan. I'm sorry, the Lena all the way. <laughs> Yeah, that was heartbreaking. Literally sobbed when that happened. Like when he stayed on the other side. But like they went into that plan, and I was I, I was already like, okay, one of them is not gonna come back, are they? Like one of them is not come gonna come back. One of them is gonna stay dead, and it's gonna be heartbreaking, and they're gonna have to find another way to like get back to get back to one another. So I knew something like that would happen, but it was still heartbreaking because Elena's reaction was so heartbreaking. In general, like and uh, Nina Dobrev does heartbreak, like, like um, does does it's heartbroken and like just devastated, playing that so well. Like when she did that in in when she said after Jeremy died, when like the house set on fire, it's also like one of my all time favorite scenes. But it's also so freaking heartbreaking, oh my god. Like, she plays it very, very well. song is really great for that. Like, Damon's death is literally, like, they are kind of the embodiment of, like, that that um, sentence that's so, so um, famous on, on book talk at the moment, or for a while, actually. It's, um, a hero would sacrifice you to save the world, um, but, but a villain would burn down the world for you, basically. So, like, that's literally, um, Stefan... I don't know, but I th like Stefan always wants to save Elena, but like he's kind of like the hero character, so um, he would like sacrifice her to save the world, or in the case of like <laughs> Elena and Matt, he saved Matt because like she wanted him to save Matt, you know, but like <laughs> he still saved Matt, like Damon, nope. Like listening to listening to her was like the right thing to do in that moment, and like um, I approve like of Stefan like leaving her that choice. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, it's kind of like it, it kind of like shows my point there a little bit. And then you have like Damon who would literally slaughter the entire freaking world for her. So <laughs> they are kind of. I don't say it's healthy. I honestly don't say it's healthy. It's actually really toxic. <laughs> But I feel like they're kind of the embodiment of that, right? <laughs> also, I'm not a biggest fan of Stefan because Stefan um, is supposedly the good guy and he thinks of himself as the good guy and the good brother. But he's like, really not. Is he? Like, he's the ripper dude that doesn't have himself under control. He uh, wants to fix Elena after she becomes a vampire. Like, there's just so many things that just show that Stefan is not, after all, the good guy, the good brother. Uh, but, like, he kind of thinks of himself that way. 
and that is really annoying me. Like the whole time, it's 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 really hypocritical. He's really hypocritical the whole time. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Stefan. I have nothing against anyone who like loves Stefan, uh, um, but like that's that's why like I I, I would choose Damon over Stefan because like da uh, Damon just Damon is like an asshole uh, <laughs> uh, to most people, and their relationship is toxic, and he would slaughter the entire world and would not apologize for it for her, and um, he like ha has anger management control issues uh, towards anyone else. <laughs> kind of but like he's not a he's he's like he stands by who he is he knows who he is and also and also like he's not as nearly as bad as he actually thinks he is like elena always sees like some good in him and i agree too like he's the one with the plan he's the one who always got the plan you know so uh there's that and like he kind of needs to be the bad guy so that everyone else can think of themselves as the good guy so yeah, he's just he has just so much many more facets than Stefan has, and also, um, like I said, Stefan annoys me a lot. While Damon is like, he's not a healthy character, and like he's definitely like in real life he would not be a good love interest. Uh, I don't think you would have a healthy relationship with him. Um, but like, he's also not as bad as he uh, as everyone paints him out to be, and uh, or before all of them fell in love with him. <laughs> and um, he's also, like, not as bad as he himself thinks of it, you know? And the thing is, da Damon no stands by it. Like, he stands by his action. He, is, he stands by what he does and what he is. And he's not apologizing for that. He's saying, like, yeah, that's just, that's me, you know? And then you have, like, Stefan who, like, pretends to be the good guy and always does everything right and is always in the right and everything but like he's just not like he pretends to be something else than he actually is and it's really annoying me so yeah okay let's keep going that that got really really ph philosophical uh write your op opinions to dad and about like stefan and damon in the comments And like he would not only like slaughter the world for her, but he would probably also slaughter the world for his brother. At least that's the vibe I'm getting. Like if you're, if you're like a person that like like Damon like loves, then you're like he would slaughter. He would literally do anything, anything for you. Literally anything. No exceptions. Murder is no exception. You know. He would literally do anything uh, to keep you safe. But like, um, if you're just not on the list, you're just screwed, you know? You're the rest of the world, you're the problem, you're the, you're the thing he slaughters uh, when someone on his like loved ones list is in danger, you know? You're just screwed if you're not on that list. And Bonnie also, you know? Bonnie is also on that list later on. So, um, yeah. Just saying. He just got his priorities straight. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And I'm selfish. And I'm so in love with you. And I don't want to lose you. So, Damon, tell me, what is it that I want? Him, obviously. You want a love that consumes you. Sure. A little bit danger. <laughs> yep. Well, that's everything she got after that car accident, by the way. <laughs> An answer. That was the moment I realized you were the perfect girl for me because you were just as crazy as I was. Okay, so yeah, that was it. <laughs> uh, it was a really great video. Um, good job to, oh my god, what's his name? Uh, Just Tatty. Good job. It was a great video. The song fit like perfectly. I loved it. 
Um, yeah. Tell me like, your opinions towards like the stuff I, t I talked about like in the comments. And um, yeah, if you have any other thing to say, anything different, anything other to say uh, about like Vampire Diaries or this fan, and also write it in the comments. We can talk and discuss there. Um, I would love that. And um, yeah, on that, leave a like if you like this video. And I hope I will see you in my next video again. Until then, bye guys.